today let us begin with a new chapter in statistics bivariate distributions okay that is we consider two random variables simultaneously already we have discussed the probability functions of function of a univariate random variable that is a random variable x having its pdf f of x in the discrete case or in the continuous case and with certain properties okay now we extend the results to the two dimensional case that is the uh, that is the case of two random variables x and y simultaneously so firstly we consider the definitions then we are uh, we will do the problems in this topic okay as usual so that we consider firstly the definitions in this case that is firstly the case uh, discrete random variables that is x and y is joint probability mass functions joint probability mass function in the discrete case okay discrete case that is in the discrete case probability x equal to x and y equal to y simultaneously gives f of x y that is f of x y is called the probability mass function of x and y simultaneously so that probability x equal to x y equal to y simultaneously is called the joint probability mass function of x and y where x takes the values x1 x2 etc and y takes the values y1 y2 etc okay f of x y gives the probability mass function of x and y so that it gives the probability that x equal to x and simultaneously y equal to y f of x y equal to probability x equal to x y equal to y simultaneously and hence we can represent this function as the uh, probability function of x and y x uh, as a matrix form as a uh, as a matrix form that is x taking values x1 x2 etc generally x i and up to x n okay in the discrete case and simultaneously y takes the values y1 y2 etc let us consider as yj and yn up to yn okay so that probability x equal to x y equal to y f i g or p i g gives the probability x equal to x y equal to y y equal to y okay and uh, uh, this satisfies the function satisfies the properties the function satisfies the properties f of x y greater than or equal to zero for all x y number 1 okay and number 2 probability x sorry sigma over x sigma over y f of x y equal to 1 sigma over x sigma over y f of x y equal to 1 and the third property probability in an interval if we write a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b c less than or equal to y less than or equal to d it gives the probabilities of it gives the probability that the random variable x in between a over a b and y over c d so that simply some of the values of the probabilities over these intervals that is sigma over e less than or equal to x less than or equal to b sigma over c less than or equal to y less than or equal to d f of x y gives the probability that x in the interval over a b y in the interval over c d if it is less than or equal to then both the limits are included for x and for y simultaneously if we write a less than x less than b c less than y less than d then the limit values are excluded c less than y less than d 
that is the possible values of x and y are uh, between e and b and between c and d respectively okay that is the limits are excluded when we write in the form open interval and when we write it in the form a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b c less than or equal to y less than or equal to d the limit values are included so that in order to obtain these probabilities only the factor is to sum the values of the probabilities over this particular limits okay so that the joint pdf of x and y the probability mass function of x and y satisfies the properties all probability should be non negative f of x y greater than or equal to 0 for all x y then the total probability should be equal to 1 is that a sigma over a sigma over y f of x y equal to 1 no probability over the interval uh, over a particular interval that is uh, simply sum up the values of the probabilities for both x and y over the respective intervals over the respective limits okay so these are the properties of the uh, joint probability mass function of x and y in the discrete case now we consider the continuous case in the continuous case, f of x y dx dy is defined over the interval that is in the continuous case. Okay, in the continuous case we consider it as two continuous case. So that probability a sorry probability is the random variable x is defined over x to x plus dx. And at the same time, y defined over the small interval y2, y plus dy. Okay, this function is f of x, y, dx, dy, which is called the probability differential of x and y, f of x, y, dx, dy. The function f of x, y is a continuous function of x and y is a continuous function of x and y and uh, it is defined over let us assume x takes the values over the interval minus infinity to plus infinity simultaneously y over again the interval minus infinity to plus infinity such a function f of x y is called the uh, is called the probability density function in the continuous case okay for the two random variables x and y by variate probability density function let me write by variate probability density function Okay, now uh, also this f of x y satisfies the properties, properties as in the discrete case f of x y greater than or equal to 0 for all x y. Okay, number 2 in the discrete case we consider integral minus infinity to plus infinity for x and for y. Double integral over minus infinity to infinity f of x y dx dy equal to 1. And for the probability over the interval that is probability a less than x less than b c less than y less than g equal to it is simply integral over a b integral over c d f of x y dx dy whereas in the uh, whereas in the univariate case we have the properties f of x dx f of x dx is the probability that the random variable x is defined over the interval x to x plus dx and satisfies the properties f of x greater than or equal to 0 for all less integral minus infinity to infinity f of x dx equal to 1 and probability a less than x less than b uh, equal to integral over a b f of x dx 
when when we have only one variable it is a univariate case when we have two random variables it is a bivariate case okay that is we have to consider x and y simultaneously so that this f of x y is the probability density function of x and y now when we have the bivariate case we have to consider the marginal distributions of x and y both in the discrete case and in the continuous case that is marginal distributions marginal distributions of x and y marginal distributions that is in the discrete case we have discrete case first of all discrete case we have the probability a function f of x y the joint probability mass function equal to probability x equal to x y equal to y simultaneously okay so that the marginal distributions of x and y are f1 is equal to probability x equal to x for the particular x so it is equal to sigma over y f of x y okay and the marginal distribution of y is defined as f2 y equal to probability y equal to y so it is defined as sigma over x f of x y that is whenever we have the bivariate distribution in the uh, matrix form that is we are given x uh, and y simultaneously for example for example say x takes values x1 x2 say 0 1 y takes values 0 1 so the f0 0 f0 1 f1 0 f1 1 these are the values of the probabilities of uh, x and y simultaneously here we write f1 is the marginal distribution of x as what is it the definition of sigma over y f of x y okay this is f1 of 0 that is the first row total first row total gives f1 of 0 second row total gives f2 of 0 second row total okay that is row total gives the values of f1 next and column totals f2 y equal to sigma over x f of x y so that the first uh, column totals that is Uh, first column total and second column total okay and what about this value this is sigma over x if sigma over y f of x y sigma over x sigma over y f of x y equal to 1 which is equal to that is which implies sigma over x f1 is equal to sigma over y f2 y equal to 1 the total of the row totals equal to 1 the total of the column totals equal to 1 Which gives f sigma over x f one x equal to sigma over y f two y. That is the grand total should equal should be equal to one. Okay, this is the example of a bivariate probability table. Bivariate probability table. We are, we will be given these values and uh, now we consider the problems. Okay, now in the uh, some more definitions have to be. Uh, discussed here now we consider the marginal distributions in the continuous case so in place of sigma we have to replace that by the integrals that is uh, here f of x y is defined f of x y the joint pdf of x and y we will be given f of x y the joint pdf of x and y over the interval minus infinity to plus infinity for x and minus infinity to plus infinity for y 
So that the marginal distribution of x is defined as okay equal to a fineness. So equal to integral minus infinity to infinity f of x y. What about f of x y g y? That is a fun x is defined as integral minus infinity to infinity f of x y g y. So equal to integral over y f of x y g y, which is the marginal distribution of x. Similarly, the marginal distribution of y is defined as f to y. So equal to integral minus infinity to infinity f of x y dx. Okay. When we uh, integrate with respect to x, we get the function as a function of y only, which is called the marginal distribution of y. So equal to integral over x f of x y g x. Okay, which implies f to y equal to integral over x f of x y g x. We have f one x as the marginal distribution of x as integral over y f of x y g y and f to y as the marginal distribution of y as integral over x f of x y g x. Okay, when we integrate this function with respect to x, we write it as integral f of x y g x. And when we integrate this function f of x y with respect to y, we we write it as uh, f of a integral f of x y g y and we have the property integral double integral minus infinity to infinity f of x y dx g y equal to 1 which implies that integral minus infinity to infinity f on x g x equal to integral minus infinity to infinity f to y g y equal to what? So that we have discussed the marginal distributions in the discrete case and in the continuous case respectively. When we have discrete random variables, we do summation and when we have continuous random variables, we do integration. Okay, The formula can be replaced by the summation in the discrete case and integration in the continuous case. Now we discuss the independence of two random variables. That is, the random variables x and y are said to uh, be independent. Independence. Independence of random variables. That is, x and y are independent random variables. Are independent if and only if. If and only if the marginal, the joint PDF, if and only if the joint PDF, if of x y equal to f one x into f two y, if of x y equal to f one x into f two y. If uh, the variables, if uh, we consider the discrete case, this. Conditions to be satisfied for all x and y in the condition in the continuous case, the function to be satisfied that is f of x y should be equal to f one x into f two y. Okay, thank you.